What are you doing? Looking for my cell phone. It's our only hope. The greatest story in human history, and I'm not going to get a chance to write it. Clark is not a story. He's my son. And I'm not going to let you sabotage his life while you make yourself famous. Is that why you chased me? What were you planning on doing, Kent? Were you going to bludgeon me and bury me in a shallow grave in the back You were trespassing on my party? property, and you tried to kill my son in that truck. You have the most amazing being on earth doing chores on your farm. Why are you hiding him? Tell the world! Let him see for themselves. I think I should leave that up to him for when he's older. Well, when do you suppose that'll be? Draft age? Drinking age? When he's ready. Why don't you stop playing the protector and admit the truth? You and your wife kept him because you couldn't have children of your own. We kept him because he is our son and we love him. <laughs> he's not your son, you deluded hick. He's not even human. You can kill me if you want for saying this, but you know I'm right. You're just a small man whose son's destiny is too big for you to comprehend. Clark doesn't belong to you. He belongs to the world. Hello? Lex? Nixon? get out of here till I realized that you were in bed with Lex Luthor and I would rather rot down here than watch the two of you destroy my son's life. This is Lewis Frisch, Sergeant Frisch. He's the air traffic controller you heard on the recording that you played for us the other night. That was from the Albany Control Center. It was the voice of a civilian air traffic controller. No, sir. There seems to be more than a little discrepancy. What you've been told, what you've been led to believe, was built upon a lie that Sergeant Frisch was asked to perpetuate, along with Sergeant Gonzalez, who is now dead. I was asked to lie. I was ordered to lie about what happened to Flight 549. By uh, who? My CO. Flight 549 appeared on my radar at 1,900 hours, when we were asked to give its coordinates at 15 second intervals. About two minutes past 30 degrees north, we saw a second aircraft enter 549's airspace in an intercept pattern. It shadowed 549 for another 10 minutes before we were asked to give a new set of coordinates. A few seconds later, there was an explosion, and 549 disappeared from my radar screen. I don't believe this, man. There's not one speck of forensic detail to support it. No sign of an explosion, no flashing, no residues, no nitrates or oxidation, nothing. I'm telling you what I saw, that we shot down a civilian jet, knowingly and willingly. I want to tell you two something. I have a responsibility to the truth here. And so do we. Why do you do it, Mr. Pasco? Why are you compelled to alter history? How could I possibly explain the rush of standing over the body of someone like Jack the Ripper? to a man who's never been out of his own time zone. Just call me crazy, Doc. You'll sleep better in blissful ignorance. I understand you received a letter this week. <sighs> the true nature of your visit revealed. And who sent it to you? The last time I checked, Doc, in this country we had something called the Fifth Amendment. I know that one inside and out, Doc. I was the one who whispered it into Thomas Jefferson's ear. Elvis, I see you brought your little friend. Yeah, well, I got your little friend. Where's Tristan? Six feet under, by all reports. Well, I guess we don't get the same reports. You know, they say, Picture paints a thousand words. Hmm. Oh, yes. Yes, Tristan and I met a few weeks before his unfortunate demise. Or we met this afternoon to discuss a little disappearing act. Check the date, Blondie. Yes, I saw that. That's very nice work. We have a witness. 
What do you want? We want green. What are you talking about? Your little magic punk buddy stole Caesar's mask, but he also stole our boss. You know, those are pretty incriminating photographs. Anything happens to green and it's on your head, Tony. Well, if I help you out, I was never involved. No, Tony, when you help me out, I'm gonna think about it. You Daryl Jameson? The landlady said I could find you here. Who's looking? I'm a special investigator with the Army. Well, I hope you're investigating my disability check, because it's eight days overdue. Mine used to come a month late. Really? You don't sound like a cripple. I got sick in the Gulf. Well, lucky you. I never quite made it that far. <clears throat> Shipped over on the USS Dalton. Chlorine tank blew up, caved in the back of my head before I ever got there. I'm investigating a surgical procedure involving a potentially dangerous implant. Come again? One man's already dead. Smell that? That means that Bob's done with his business here. So am I.